Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Now today, we are looking at a projector. For my entire life, I've never had a projector, ever. I've seen projectors. This is gonna be the second projector that I've gotten because once I get something, I go overboard and then I get everything. This is by the same people that made the last one. This is a Vivi Bright, but this is one that is going to be a lot less in terms of cost. Um, this one is 69 bucks. This is the device itself. It is tiny, has a little speaker built in. It is called the L1. I'm gonna put the product link in the description below just so you guys can find this too. But look how tiny this is. This is so small. And this is the picture. So this is what we have here. So one thing I just have to say, this comes in a four by three format. So that means even if you're doing 16 by nine, because I'm casting something from YouTube in 16 by nine, it is going to change the aspect ratio to this. Now I've tried everything by using the remote to actually switch it. It is going to be locked into this, but still we have this image here, which on a tiny little device like this, I think this looks really really good now if you actually get close you can see the pixels you can see everything but if you're just casting something like what I'm doing here on YouTube it's perfectly fine what I'd be doing is I'd be eating dinner I just sit here I'd cook here and then when I'm done I just I have this here now what I'm surprised about is that with something this small, I can still see the picture because I do have ambient light going on. I do have light and it's kind of like sitting by candlelight. It looks fine and I can see it and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. Now, one thing is you do have to use the remote to actually get through things and you do have two inputs here. I'm gonna pick this up because this is tiny. I was literally sitting this down on a pair of napkins because that's how I mount it, because I don't know how to mount a, uh, a projector. Now see, this is the projector. It's literally going wherever I want it to go. But right here at the bottom, I think this is the coolest thing. You have a screw mount. So you could put this on a tripod and literally put this everywhere. Now see, the more I move this in, see this is the smaller the picture goes, but see I'm adjusting it with this little ring right here. It's super easy to do this, let me see. Let me get this in focus. And yeah, literally, if I have this projecting right here as I'm eating, there's my image. But let's take a look at the back, or the device itself. On top here, you have the power button. On the back, you have a few ports. You have your auxiliary port here on the bottom right. You have an S micro SD card, so if you want to display like your home movies or your pictures, you have that too. On top here, we have the HDMI in the upper right, and then in the middle, we have a USB port, which is great because what I'm using here is my Chromecast. And all I need to do is connect it to the HDMI port, power it with the USB port, and bam, I have a, like an instant little connection. And something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time is when I'm able to, I'm gonna take this on the roof, I'm going to cast it, and it's gonna look so cool. Just look how tiny it is. It's like a tiny little toaster. Like this is my hand, and that's it. Now I've been writing this for a little bit. You know, sometimes with these little projectors, I think they get kind of hot, but I'm feeling some heat, not a huge amount of heat. It's just, really cool and there's the picture now again the one thing that does bug me is the aspect ratio everything is shot now in 16 by 9 have it be 16 by 9 I don't care how it's done maybe if the picture would be even a little bit smaller I'm perfectly fine with that but just make it 16 by 9 don't stretch the image I don't know that's the only thing I can think of but let's see here I'm gonna pull up the um, the listing so we can take a look together. So this is the Vivibrate mini projector. It's called the L1. It is the LED Pico projector pocket video projector. Maybe it is, I mean, if you have a gigantic pocket, yeah. But it does support HDMI, which is the life-saving part of this thing because that makes it usable with everything on the market. 
and it says PC laptop USB for home theater movie and games this one comes in silver and this is what I have here and look it looks exactly like this it is so tiny and compact I am in love with this tiny little thing and again $69 I will put the link in the description below and I will just yeah if you have any questions just let me know so cool there's the pictures there's the images there's everything let's see if we can look at some specs so we have a description all right so we have this with 8001 contrast ratio um let's see it supports 1080p but that means it supports content like this is originally shot in 1080p on youtube but it is not projecting because you can see the pixels i want to see what the native resolution is do they actually have that here i don't think so if i had to guess anything it'd be 480p just by looking at it shoot i missed where i was 50,000 hour LED lamp life. That's great. So you have a lot of time to use this. Again, one of my main things is it has a little speaker in here. So this is me walking in Central Park. How does that sound? You hear the birds? I think it sounds amazing. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it says your, your best choice for 2020. For me, I think it's great. Everybody's stuck inside. You're looking for cool little things to get to make your time be a little bit bear more bearable. For me, this is perfect. I'm a night owl. I have a lot of darkness, you know, around me here. So all I do is I can just hook this up, project this on this wall, or literally if maybe I'm sitting on the floor and I'm trying to work, I can move it and I can project it on this tiny wall. Maybe if the cats want to watch some TV, I can just do that there. It's cool. And one of the things I wanted to do here is I can put this on the ceiling. Maybe it's bedtime. I can just project it right in the ceiling so I don't have to crick my neck. Oh man, that is so cool. I can't wait to try basically everything with this. So I think if you haven't gotten a projector before, you should take a look at what is this? Vivi Bright. It's just something that I am enamored with. Again, I've never had a projector in all my life, but this is something that just, it speaks to me. Let me see. Blah, 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 blah. It's nice. Okay, so here is the product details. It's 4.7 inches by 4.3 inches by 3.9 inches and is 1.3 pounds. It's a tiny little guy. Like this is it. You can put this in your backpack. It's, that's it. All right, another little thing that I have something to say about is there should be a cap. This did not come with a cap. If it's something to be made portable, put a cap on there. That's all I ask because this is gonna go in your backpack. There's not a bag that comes with it. Put a cap on here. That's all that we need. We don't wanna scratch that lens because if that lens is scratched, that's the device right there. But yeah, wait, it says this projector is not suitable for business showing such as PowerPoint Word. I mean, it is not a huge resolution here, but hey, if you wanna project anything on here, that's perfectly fine. Again, right now I'm using Chromecast. You could use your Roku TV. You could use your Apple TV. You could use anything. You can even plug in your laptop. I get that it's not an extremely high resolution, but hey, if you want to project something, like, do it. Go for it. All right, guys. So this has been Matt, and I've been taking a look at the Vivi Bright L1. It's a tiny little pocket projector, which I think is amazing. Considering I've never had a projector in my life before, I am just going crazy with this. But yeah, don't forget, you can find me on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. You can, oh, you can, I would love it if you do. You can like the video, you can applaud the video, you can subscribe to the channel. And uh, when I do choose to take this up on the roof, I'm going to do a video on it for sure because I think this is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to attach, um, a bigger speaker to this 
so you can hear everything that I've been doing. But for me, I'm a huge fan. And again, if you want to get one of these for yourself, it's in the description below. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.